it's Margaret and it is Monday so it is time for the weekly sales update. This is the weekly sales update for the last two weeks. Um, because summer is bananas, my weekly sales update has been getting smooshed with another week. Uh, it's happened the last two ones, two videos like this because yeah, summer. Summer loving happens so fast. Summer loving had me a blast. Anyway, um, yeah, so it has been crazy getting a new schedule going with the family and the kids and the mom and the everything. So I've just literally this week had a conversation with myself and just said it's going to be okay. You know, I want, I have goals financially, I have goals in my business, which is, you know, eBay, Etsy, Amazon, blah, 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 you know, all this stuff. And I just had to come to the realization that things happen and you're, you kind of have to make, make some changes and kind of wiggle room things around, um, and, and forgive yourself. So, or don't, don't be so hard on yourself, I guess is what I should say. So yeah, that's been kind of going on and that, you know, our house has been really messy. The kids are home. We're all over the place. I know I'm just kind of chatting at you right now, but why not, right? I haven't done a, a vloggy vlog, a vlog in a while. A vlog, you know how I feel about the word vlog. So a vlog, I haven't taken a vlog in a while, so I thought I would just chat with you for a second. Um, yeah, so that's what's been going on. I My sales are low, slow, um, but I hear some people's are doing really well. I hear others are slow as well. Um, I fully attribute my slow, my slowness to my lack of listing lately um, because for the same reasons, just summertime, kids, family, everything is, we're all over the place, right? And it's just going to get more hectic for the rest of the month and into July. So I've just got to be okay with it because what, what are my options? You know, I already, already don't sleep enough. So staying up to list in the middle of the night is kind of out. Lately, it's been like five or six hours of sleep, right? And that's horrible for me, because I'm a cranky baby when I don't get enough sleep. But here's what I do want to do, because it's hard for me to be on the computer all the time with my kids around. I just have a mommy thing about it. I can't, I can't, I don't feel like I'm being a good mom if I'm constantly on my computer, not like with the kid. I don't know. I mean, I do it, but not, I try to limit it. I think you know what I'm saying. So, so here's what I am trying to do so that I can still feel like I'm being productive with my work. And that is, um, one, I'm decluttering my personal stuff around the house. My husband and I have been going through and just deciding, you know, kind of like that. Do we love it? Do we keep it? Do we sell it? Do we donate it? And we just took a van full to donate and we are already in the process of like clearing out more. Uh, because as you guys know, we have all of our stuff. And then it, when my grandmother passed away and we have all of, a lot of, pretty much almost all of her stuff too. So it's been very overwhelming. I mean, our, our home in the past was always like people would show up and say, did you guys just move in? Like we were very minimalist, you know, but somehow over the last couple of years, things have just kind of exploded because also at the same time I started my, you know, the business selling. So I'm constantly bringing more stuff into the house. So the, the goal now is to start clearing and organizing our personal things and getting all of the my work stuff and reseller stuff into the one, you know, the spare room, which is my work room. Uh, because it always ends up like avalanching out, you know, avalanche. You know how that goes. I'm going to knock this thing over before this video is done. Um, so yeah, that's the goal. And then me getting time in the work room to organize and feel like, okay, I know where everything is. And, you know, I just have to grab a, a bin or a tub and we can go list that tub or this is where it's going to be stored. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me. We do have a big trip coming up, which I'm super psyched about. Um, I've talked about it a few times, but we will be going, flying into Spokane and then we'll be in Spokane for three or four days. And then from Spokane, we drive to Portland, and then we'll be in Portland for the same about three or four days. And then we're taking two days to drive down through Oregon um, into California, and we'll stay somewhere in Southern Oregon, and then driving into California for about the same four or five days. So I keep saying four or five days, but our trip is like a week and a half, so maybe it's 
<laughs> Maybe I'm counting some of those days that overlap partly in Portland and partly in somewhere else. Anyway, so that's, I'm really excited. We've been planning this trip for like a year and there's going to be a lot of driving and the kids are super excited about it because they're hoping to go, we're hoping to go into Idaho and see some snow because that's something they really wanted to do. And in um, California, their grandpa's going to take them panning for gold. So we've been learning about the 49ers and the gold rush and all that stuff this week, um, just to kind of get them some background on what's on what to expect. Anyway, this has been a, a very vloggy intro to the sales update. So I'll yeah, let's talk about numbers. <clears throat> Thanks. Let me take look. I got my cup back, <laughs> my Twilight cup. <laughs> love it or hate it, I love it. Everybody has their guilty pleasures. That's mine. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a peek. <clears throat> Where are we starting? Let me get all this sorted. Okie dokie. Let's start with Etsy. I've only had a few sales on Etsy um, in the last two weeks, but again, I haven't been listing or promoting or doing anything, so anything I get, I am grateful. So here, this is a hand-painted floral toothpick holder, and it was painted by a friend of my grandmother's name, Lenora. And it, um, where we go, where we go, Doo -doo -doo. here we go. So uh, I paid zero for it because it was in my grandmother's collection and it sold for $24.99. And after shipping and fees, my net was $21.05. Next up, this is a uh, demi toss, and this is a souvenir demi toss where it's got the name of like a resort in the, I don't know, this is the Alps or somewhere, you know, that. Yeah, so it's a, a souvenir Dimitas cup and saucer. So it was it also in my grandmother's collection and it sold for $14.99. And my net after shipping and fees was $13.29. It's really pretty. And here is a Star Trek mug that sold. This one I picked up for 50 cents. It sold for $17.99. And my net was $13.65. We had a chat about mugs in the in our group, International League of Thrifters. And again, like subject matter is, is, is one, and then two is, um, a lot of them are long tail. This one I haven't had that long, maybe a month or two, but, and, and somebody else had mentioned, oh, I, you know, I can't even find a Starbucks mug, but honestly, for me, like Starbucks mugs sit just as long as others, but like for me, it's subject matter more so than anything. <laughs> However, I did sell a Starbucks mug this week. <laughs> All right, another, this has been up for this is a vintage cord bead cream purse, and I picked it up for $2, sold for $14.99, and after shipping and fees, my net was $15.58. And this, I, I mean, this has been up on, on uh, Etsy, eBay, I took it down, I took it to the booth. I mean, this purse has been everywhere. It gets around. That purse gets around. And look at my earrings sold. Remember when I got these? And I was like, who do these remind you of? Little copper top in a little dress. I wear a lot of dresses and skirts, by the way. Um, so the, when I saw these, I was like, these look like me. <laughs> anyway, so I picked these up for a dollar. They sold for $17.99. I was honestly sad to see them go, even though I would never really, they're not my style, I wouldn't wear them, but I, I don't know. felt like a little part of me leaving. Um, so my net there was $15.35. They went to a good home. And then this is another one I've had up for a long time. Tigger and the Apple Tree. I uh, picked it up for a quarter. It sold for $12.99. And so my net was $11.45. But it's been up for a long time. Now let's talk eBay. These have been still selling and I am so happy. <laughs> the, um, the Skin Sensuals. I, I got a whole bunch of them, remember, from Jenny, the lady that does the house cleanouts. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my my numbers straight down here. They're kind of all out of whack. Maybe I should start here. Okay, so I know where I am. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, come on. Okay, so funny story about this costume. <laughs> Here's the story, because you're looking at the price and maybe going, what, $211? That's not what it sold for. But when I went to list this costume pattern, there were a few solds, and they, were, they had sold in the $80 range. Um, and then there was one currently up on eBay, and there was a bidding war going on as I was listing it. 
watching this bidding war and I kept checking back to see like what's it gonna sell for what's it gonna sell for waiting you know and it I think it ended up going for 50 or 70 dollars somewhere in that range and so I thought you know what I'm gonna throw it up there for a crazy price maybe one of these people that's in this bidding war will just come and buy it or send me an offer and that's what happened so they did they sent me an offer of fifty dollars which I accepted I picked this pattern up for a quarter and they actually sent me a message and said, I don't even need the pattern. I'll pay you $50, just photocopy it and message it to me. But I'm pretty sure that's not okay. So I just said, no, no, it's cool. And they were in the UK as well. So um, they paid the shipping through the global shipping program. And my net there was $43.71. I was okay with that. Cool, right? You just never know. And then this sold, this is a um, shower curtain, one of those fabric shower curtains, a Target one, and I picked it up for $2. It sold for $19.99, and my net was $14.95. It's cute. Here's another one of these Skin Sensuals, picked up for a buck. Um, this one, this one sold for $15.75. I can't remember if I took an offer or I had it on sale. My net there was $13.59. And then this one, this is a bisque hand-painted box. Okay. And this one is sold, but I do have a return open for this one. So let me talk to you about that. Let me, let me, this was in my grandmother's collection as well. Let's see, where'd you go? Okay. So it cost zero. They paid $37 for it. Took best offer, $32.23 was the net but like I said there's a there's a return open for it and the reason for return was that the item didn't match the pictures and that that wasn't as described basically and the person has like I think they're another reseller or they have like a thousand you know feedback in theirs like way more than me so I wasn't first of all like it's pretty close to this so I mean inside of my brain I'm thinking what of course it matches, you know, it's just, this is what it is. This is what it looks like. Um, but instead of getting like all grumpy towards that person, what I did was, you know, of course I will accept your return. If you don't mind, I'm always trying to improve my business. I sent, cause they sent me a message. I sent them a message back and said, you know, um, of course I'm happy to return full refund, send it back. Um, I'm always trying to improve my business. If I don't, if you don't mind giving me some feedback, um, you mentioned that the item didn't match the photographs. What I, you know, and then I said, I, I felt like my photos were accurate, but what was it about them that didn't match so that I can review that and improve my business, you know, going forward. So I haven't heard back yet. I tried to word it where, you know, not to be defensive against that. I didn't agree, but let me know like which part of the, what, you know, what was it that, didn't match up what what where where could i improve that because i don't even know um because this is what it looks like um so yeah i don't i mean maybe the no because it's kind of like a pink bisque color like a light pink so yeah i mean we'll just see what they say if they decide to, to they don't have to tell me that but but it's something to think about you know don't automatically get defensive because maybe there was something in it that i missed you know anyway so that's a return, but that's okay. It's cool. It's cool. So this Mike and the Moon Pies trucker hat sold. I picked it up for a dollar, took a best offer of 20, and that net me $16.32. And then this doll sold. Um, again, my grandmother had a bunch of Madame Alexander dolls. I still have a bunch of them. And I was just trying to get, I decided to go ahead and blow them out because as I was working on cleaning up in the room, I was like, what is taking up so much space in here? And these dolls take up a ton of space because their boxes are really big. And so I just said, you know what? This doll has been sitting up on for over a year. So I went through all my Madame Alexander dolls that I have listed so far because I still have a plethora that have not been up listed yet. Um, and I just kind of slashed the prices on some that I felt like these are going to be sitting here forever. So one of them sold from that and it sold for nine dollars which is not a ton and then I messed up on shipping of course you're still you know learning anyway four bucks is my profit now at that point I have to say to myself 
would it be better to list them? Is that worth my time? Or for a $4 profit or $5 profit, am I better just donating them? I'm kind of, you know, or lotting them up and selling just like a lot for like maybe a crafter or something. It's sad, but. And then this sold, I've had this for a while too. It's a, um, a book pyramid, like you put it on your lap and you can prop your book up on it or on your, on your table. I've had this for a while too, random. I uh, picked it up for $2, it sold for $9.99, so my net was $6.05. I probably wouldn't pick this up again. I don't know why I picked it up. Nah. You're always trying new things, that's why, Margaret, duh. All right, so this sold too, I just listed this recently. This is a vintage restoration hardware vase urn type of thing. Um, and it, where'd you go? Here you are. Picked up for $2. I took a best offer of $25. And so my net there was $20.56. Then this red Don't Mess With Texas hat sold. I picked it up for $1.91. I took a best offer of $10. And my net was $6.53. I take a lot of best offers, but I do put higher prices on my items to give me that wiggle room, you know, so that way I either I get a high price or people want to feel like they're getting a good deal. You know, everybody wins or I don't sell it. And then here's the Starbucks mug that sold. Oh. Anyway, this mug, I didn't, um, I didn't set the shipping up right or something. I don't know exactly it. it anyway. It was bigger, you know, like for me to send it in my six by four by four for my regular mugs, because then I can take that and put it in a padded flat rate. But this one ended up being too big for that. So I couldn't stick it in my padded flat rate like I like. Anyway, that's fine. You know, you're, you still live and learn. Paid $2 for it, took a best offer of $10, figured out the shipping and was like, dang. And so I made almost $3. Mm. Uh, and then this sold. this is a little Samsonite carrying case that I picked up recently uh, for you know passport or whatever that goes in there picked it up for 50 cents sold for $11.99 and my net was $10.71 not bad I like that I like it a lot it was small and easy okay okay let's talk <laughs> current events okay this is our topic so you know meatloaf had that fall um, on stage and the very next day this sold so I mean it's impossible to stay on top of all the current events but I, I started wondering like was there a connection there with this meatloaf CD selling right after you know this news event happened I'm thankfully he's doing well he's you know not you know he's, he's okay so that happened and then I was looking over some of my sales last night on Amazon and I had some Angry Bird Hot Wheels. They were, you know, cars, but they were in the shape of the birds that I picked up a while back, you know, way before the movie, you know, last year, I don't know. Anyway, sent them in just because that's what I do. I send them in, I forget about it. Um, but I probably could have gone in and jacked the price up on them because they've all been selling like this week after, you know, the Angry Bird movie came out. So yeah, something to think about with your inventory, um, with current events or movies coming out that you can do that. I did also in April, uh, is it April? Yeah, when Prince passed away, I didn't go check because I had a Prince book that was in FBA and I completely forgot about it. And when I went back to look through all my sales in April, sure enough, that Prince book sold. I mean, it, it sold, so that's good. I got what I wanted for it, but I probably could have gotten more if I had gone in and just done a quick search, like, do I have any Prince stuff in there? Because, you know, you just scan and send, scan and send. That's what I do. Okay. So that's our talk. <laughs> that was that. Did I even tell you the numbers on that? No. I uh, paid 50 cents, sold for $9.99, and uh, so my net was $8.41. I got it at that garage sale where I got a bunch of like heavy metal and just CDs. I don't normally do CDs. Anyway. So this sold, this is a, and I've had this one forever too, um, silver Mexican cuff abalone type bracelet. Bought um, in a lot for eight one eighty one when I averaged everything out. Took a best offer of ten dollars, so my net was seven dollars and twenty eight cents. And then this is that skin sensual that sold, and I took a best offer of fifteen dollars, hit a dollar, so my net was twelve ninety two. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the numbers. So um, all total spent 
was $19.72 to make $290.61 in two weeks, which is, isn't that much. So, but again, just being grateful that I have anything coming in, it, you know, every little bit helps. And I just have to tell myself, it'll get better. It'll get better. You know, things will level out when, when things level out, when I get time to, to list more and, and whatnot. Okay, okay. Adulting. <laughs> Adulting. How to be a grown-up in 468 easiest steps. So I have found us one for today. And it is under the fake it till you make it chapter. And the step is step 125. Know when to drop the banana. This is a lesson I need. Uh, when my sisters and I were little, we maintained a pretty steady argument for about seven years. I don't know if she got this from a child psychologist or what, but my mother's ingenious strategy was called drop the banana. <laughs> I wonder if this is like eating the frog. <laughs> when we were having a pointless back and forth, the first child, the first child to say drop the banana and leave behind the bickering was rewarded. Oh my gosh, I've got to try this. So basically you're having a fight or an argument with your sibling and you say, drop the banana. Then that kid like gets a, oh, I love it. I'm gonna do this. So if you're stuck in a perpetual pointless argument orbit, drop the banana and move on with your life. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna put a check by that one. We have learned about dropping the banana. So. Whether you need to eat that frog or drop that banana, make sure you're going out and enjoying yourselves, guys. And I will talk to you later.